Good morning, KVC. It's Friday morning, October the 16th, and I'm coming to you with a word in season. Again, we're in chapter 10 of Proverbs. We'll be looking at 30 through 32 today. Chapter 10, verses 30 through 32. It says here, The righteous will never be uprooted, but the wicked will not remain in the land. Let's just stop right there. That's a promise of the Lord. And we know that Corinthians says the promises of the Lord are yes and amen for us that believe. And he says the righteous will never be uprooted, but the wicked will not remain in the land. In other words, we'll stand steadfast. Even when the winds are blowing and the ground seems to shake, we will not be uprooted. And verse 31, he says, From the mouth of the righteous comes the fruit of wisdom, but a perverse tongue will be silenced. So from the mouth of a righteous person, you and I, comes fruit, the fruit of wisdom. And remember, when we went through Galatians 5 on the fruit of the Spirit, there is not just only... Um, the fruit of wisdom, but there's patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, self-control. Those are all fruit that come from within that we speak with our mouth. He says, but the perverse tongue will be silenced. One day, it's a, the justice is going to come. One day, uh, God is going to make right all the wrongs. And then verse 32 says, The lips of the righteous know what finds favor, but the mouth of the wicked only what is perverse. Again, it's a contrast. Contrast of wisdom and foolishness, wisdom and perverseness. He says, The lips of the righteous know what finds favor. We know we'll find God's favor. We know God will lead us in that path. But not so with the wicked, they only are perverse. So today, we walk the path of wisdom. Today, we walk the path of knowledge, insight, and discernment, and the promises of God's Word. Listen, no matter what you're going through, no matter what's happening in your life, God's Word says that the righteous will not be uprooted. That's you and I. So today, stand steadfast in God's word, his promises, and don't look to what you see, but look to God's word and by faith believe it is so. Let's pray. Father, thank you for your word. Thank you that the righteous are not uprooted, that we stand steadfast. As the Ephesians 6 says, after we've done everything to stand, <clears throat> stand firm. So we stand today knowing we will never be uprooted and that we walk in your wisdom today. So we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We'll see you Sunday uh, as we continue on moving on to maturity. I'll be speaking out of Ephesians 4 and looking at those uh, gifts that God gives to the body and their purpose. So we'll see you Sunday. Have a great weekend. God bless.